Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Radioactive Ra SNG, and welcome back to Sonic Chaos for the Sega Game Gear and Master System. So, last time we left off, we went through Sleeping Egg Zone and got the last of the Chaos Emeralds. And we're gonna be going through Mecha Green Hill today. So, before we begin, I would like to ask y'all to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 20 likes. And if we can do that, we'll put out the next part even sooner. And I do have a very special guest with me, so why don't you introduce yourself? What's up, guys? My name's Bob. Come here. Alright, so I do have my good friend Belkamia from Sonic Central along with me today, and we're going to be talking about this game. Um, actually, I'm going to be letting him really give his opinions on this game, and uh, yeah, so, um, Mecha Green Hill Zone, anything you want to say about it? Mecha Green Hill Zone, uh, it's not really a, a memorable stage in my opinion, but I'm quite a big fan of Sonic Chaos, so uh, it's nice to see that they kind of took influence from Sonic 1. I'm not really sure what Mecha Green Hill is like really about, to be honest. I don't know if it's like kind yeah, of... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I don't know if either Eggman like redesigned his own version of Gr uh, Mecha Green Hill. Uh, I don't really think it's the hardest stage in the game. Uh, but, you know, they took influence from Sonic 1 and that's pretty, uh, that's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I guess it was cool to do in at least like one game, right? Just a yeah, Mecha Green so Hill zone. Yeah. And I think it stands up to its name anyway. Um, yeah. But like you said, it's not really a really memorable zone, like at all. <laughs> no, I mean, it's kind of like um, when you go into Sonic Blast, they have Green Hill Zone in that, but you don't remember that zone, even though it's Yeah, green. you really don't. You yeah, know, but you remember the first Green Hill from Sonic 1. It's like a lot of those Green Hill clones are kind of memorable. Like, not to call um, Emerald Hill uh, that or anything, yeah. but yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, you remember those kind of stages. Yeah, it's Alibar. But Sonic Chaos <laughs> is a it's a game I really do love. I mean, it's a, it's kind of an overlooked game in my opinion. Very, not many people, rem you know, not many people remember it. But I've got pretty good memories with it. I've always enjoyed it. And to be honest, it's a pretty short game. Uh, but I kind of like that because it's like a, a quick to finish game, and you can enjoy it as well. And it won't take too much of your time. Yeah, especially um, it's a really short game because it's a pick up and play game. It's it's handheld. It, it was exactly, supposed yeah. to be one of those games you would take your game gear, like if you're going to the doctor's office or something, you yeah. try and run through the game. So I like it for that. Yeah, exactly, dude. Uh, not to mention, not to, not to also mention that the the game gear is battery is like really bad. That's like, what I thought. So like to this say, is like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like one of those games you could actually probably finish before exactly, the battery died. Yeah. So that was uh, that was something. I mean, like for example, Sonic Two for Game Gear. How could you beat that? Yeah, before it's, batteries it's, died. You know? Exactly. That was actually a pretty decent lit game, and then you came to this and it was actually really short. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, pretty surprising. But then you did have um, um, Triple Trouble that came out like right after, so that explains why this game is short. Yeah, I guess so, yeah, because uh, Triple Trouble is like the sequel for Sonic Chaos. So in, Jap in like Japan, it's called Sonic and Tails, and then Sonic and Tails 2. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like, I don't know, I like that name a little more. It fits, it fits that, uh, I don't know, it kind of fits more, because you're playing with Sonic yeah. and Tails. And exactly, yeah, and in Sonic 2, uh, for Game Gear, you couldn't play as Tails, was it? The story was pretty much about saving Tails, so... Yeah, that was weird, like, I, that always threw me off. I was like, when yeah, did I get to yeah. play with Tails? And he's, like, in all the <laughs> title cards, and... It's like, he followed Sonic around in the, uh, in the title card, so I thought at some point I'd get, like, he'd be with you. And it never yeah. happens. <laughs> exactly, dude, know. and if you uh, get the bad ending, like... Does Tails die at the end, or...? Oh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's... confirmed. That's that's pretty dark, dude. <laughs> Very dark. Yeah, man. <laughs> even for like, even <laughs> even for Sonic, I think. Especially that's Especially for a really old dark. game as well. Yeah, man, it's really dark. Like back then, the '90s were like really strict about that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah, like, Tails died, you know. <laughs> Especially because he's meant to be like, about eight years old, I think. Yeah, he's like he's like a <laughs> ten year old or something. <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> oh man, but uh, yeah, so that is Act Two right there. So this episode and probably the next uh, zone is going to be pretty short. Uh, we're going to be slowly ending off this game. And that's why I have uh, my good friend Velkami with me. Because these zones, there's not really much to talk about. Uh, yeah, so I thought true. I'd get someone who really loves these games to actually give you all some opinions. But um, uh, fun fact, I guess the music is a remix of uh, You Can Do Anything from Sonic CD. So that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I actually do. I really love the soundtrack for Sonic Chaos. There's oh, no yeah, about it's really it is. good. It's really, catch, really catchy. And um, fair, uh, the Game Gear games all do have pretty good music. Dude, there. Yeah, I think of Sonic yeah. 2. I think of Sonic Drift 2 for some reason. I love yeah. the soundtracks for those games. Really good. Oh, I died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 
I'm trying to remember like where you can get rings on this stage. I remember having this problem before. I can't really remember the boss in that stage. It's been quite a while since. I remember like, this boss not being too bad. It was just like getting to it. I think the the boss in Sonic Chaos, which always threw me off, was the second boss. Believe it or not, that that weird worm looking. Oh yeah, it was actually really easy too. Yeah, exactly. Like in the it's end, like... it's super easy. But then sometimes I would just lose all my rings, and it would throw one of those balls at me, and I'd be dead. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying uh, to get but, some yeah. rings. We'll see the how this goes. The first boss, dude, is completely so shameful. Dude, it's like ridiculously easy. <laughs> I swear that's the easiest boss in Sonic history. Uh, I would say so. It's yeah. like coming from like Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 to like that boss. You're like, what? It's like, what? Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. the, I think by then the games were established as like the harder Sonic games. Like the 8-bit yeah. ones. And then you have that. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that's something as well, actually, about Sonic, the Game Gear games. Um, like, you don't really, like, I mean, I think in Sonic 1, you defeat Robotnik in every boss, I think, I think anyway, but from Sonic 2, you kind of just defeat, like, robots, if that makes sense. Yeah, you just fight, like, little robots and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Okay, That's kind of what a... makes them stand out a little more as well, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, also, a fun fact is that the, uh, the Master System version actually had a green sky, and on this version, there's a pink sky, so whatever reason, the Master System couldn't do as many colors at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they uh they kind of had like uh musical differences as well, especially yeah, for like the Polis. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've gone over that a million times. Yeah. I think I said that in yeah. his LP too. Like, oh really? Okay. All right, let's see if I can not die to this boss. Uh, this boss isn't too bad though. It's just uh taking my time with it. Come on, will you die? See the uh, the thing with the Game Gear boss as well, you always need to make sure you have rings. Yeah, my ring actually like disappeared out of the yeah. off the screen, so that sucks. But, uh, oh, yes, 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 we got him. Okay, so sweet, right. we're gonna end off right here. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Next time, we'll be going through Aqua Planet with my good friend Velkamia uh, once again. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all on the next episode. So, until then, peace out. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>